Hello friends, my name is Grace, also known as Divine Grace. I'm going to show you how I make Nigerian egusi soup without the Nigerian actual egusi. You know, if you live outside Nigeria, you, you know, the struggle is real about the cost of egusi. They can sell you like a half a um, cup for like five dollars. So, um, I found this in the store. It's called raw papitas. It's, um, it's a snack that you can actually snack on. I bought the raw one. They, they sell them either roasted or raw. It almost looks like a real, uh, the actual Nigerian legacy. If you can see. I, buy, I bought this one at ShopRite. I think most of the stores might sell them. I, I'm not sure if Walmart sells them. But I actually bought this one at ShopRite. And it's, it's affordable. It's $3.99. Which is, you can't beat that. This will cost about $10 if you have to buy it. You see, this much. So I went ahead and I soaked two, two bags in water. It's been in water for about 20 minutes because it dries so for for ease of blending i soak them in water for about 20 minutes and i'm gonna go ahead and blend them in my smaller blender because that way it comes out fine you know it's smoother and i already have a blended tatache it's called red for some people they call it red, red bell pepper i have about six red bell peppers in here blended and i'm also gonna use fresh spinach I already had it cut up in size that I wanted and I'm going to be cooking also with goat meat. You can use any meat that you want. Today I'm going to be using goat meat with some oven roasted fish and oven roasted chicken. I also have like um, dry fish here like stock fish which I'm not sure I'm going to use because of the smell. For now, I'm just going to keep it here and we'll decide if I want to use it later. I also blend two tomatoes, two um, vine tomatoes with the roasted with the red bell pepper that I already have blended. And I'm going to be using three atarudo or some people call it habanero pepper. All right, I'm going to blend that together with the tomatoes and I'll show you the result. First of all, let's get started by blending up the raw pepitas. It's already well soaked. I'm going to pour it in the blender and blend it up real good. And from there, we'll go from there. And also, I'm using this um, power pressure cooker because I'm running late. And it's going to be easier for the food to get cooked and done easily because this pressure cooker has a very fast um, way of cooking just to make things easier for me but you can cook the way however you want it as long as your food is done that's what matters and also i'm going to be using the seasoning i, I like to use no no maggie you can use any seasoning you want you can use star you can use any seasoning that's available to you and some onions i already have some onions in the goat meat i'm going to be using i'll blend this also with the raw pepitas that way it gives you the flavor and I'm going to be cooking with palm oil and a little bit of vegetable oil so first of all let's get started with blending of the raw pepitas so I started blending the raw pepitas you can see the color is coming out like just like a goosey but it's beginning to thicken up and I didn't want to add water to it since I'm using a uh, fresh spinach and you if you've cooked fresh spinach before, you know it gets a lot of juice, a lot of water in it. So I, do, I want to reduce the amount of water I will cook with, so that by the time I put the spinach, it won't, it, my soup won't be too watery. So I, I put the tomatoes with the red pepitas just to use it as the water, you know, so I don't have to add extra water to it. So I'm going to go ahead and continue blending. So I went 
went ahead and added a little bit of water because the tomato was not enough to make it smooth enough to blend I believe next time I will soak it longer I will soak the red uh, raw puppy pepitas longer but I still got a few more to go so I'm going to blend it twice I just added a little bit of water to it so for the ease of blending alright people um, it's all done now Blend. I've already done finish, I'm blending the uh, raw pepitas so I'm gonna start to fry the agusi soup first of all I use I'm gonna pour palm oil in the cooking pot the pot is already hot so I turn them stove off so that I can get a chance to um, pour the oil without it splashing then once it's the oil is really hot then I'm going to add a little bit of vegetable oil to it it's it's up to you if you can decide to cook only with um, palm oil or you can cook with both but sometimes I just like to cook with both that way I have enough oil in my food without having too much of palm oil it's just my own theory i don't know i can't tell you any reason any rationale behind it but so when this oil is hot i'm gonna fry the our uh, made up egg goosey with the blended red bell peppers then we, we go from there so the oil palm oil is hot i'm gonna pour a little bit of vegetable oil to it then I'll turn down the heat and we'll start to fry. Just like a goosey soup. Do you keep stirring it until you? As you stir it gently, it will fry gently. But if you don't stir, it's gonna get burnt. And I don't want it to get burnt. I'm gonna stir it occasionally. I'm gonna cover it so that I can see me. And I'll increase the heat a little bit. It will give you like three minutes. Then I will add the um, the pepper, red bell pepper, to it. So it's been three minutes, as you can see. Um, it's a little, it's fried a little bit. I can turn on, I can turn up the heat to make it fry faster. But I just don't like when my pot get burnt like that. So now that it's fried a little bit, I'm going to pour the blended pepper into it. Once you pour it in it, just stir it. You know the heat is still on. I will increase it since we have more more content now. 
I will increase the heat a little bit. I just let both fry in the oil. Of the remainder, you can see the difference because there's a lot of red bell pepper. Its color has changed a little bit. So I'm gonna cover it. Simmer. Let it simmer on medium, um, medium high heat for another five, um, three minutes. I will stir it in like two to three minutes. Then I'll cover it again. I'll let it simmer for another three minutes. So like, let's give it about six minutes. Then we'll start to add our seasoning. So it has simmered for about three minutes. I'm gonna stir it again and add. A little bit of salt to it. I love onions, even though I already had added onions to it when I blended it, I'm going to add a little bit more of onions. It just gives it a little flavor. And I'll cover it and let it simmer again. This time I'm going to increase the heat. I'll give you another three minutes. So it's been another three minutes. I'm going to open it and add the Maggie. And no cube to it. I'm only adding four, so that is two no cube, no two no cubes. It comes out in four smaller ones. Add it to it. Stir it. At this time, if the if your heat is too high, it might start to burn. So try and turn down the heat. Okay. I'll add a little bit of but the water. I rinse out the, the blender and I'm going to use the water to cook it. So gradually add a little bit of water to it so that it, it has enough time to you know, cook. I'm going to add the water from the, the blender to it. So the, the, now that we have enough water in it and I just added Maggie, I'm going to leave, cover it and let it cook for another about 15 minutes. Occasionally I will stir it up just so that it doesn't get burnt. But that way I know I give you a longer period to cook then, so that the Maggie can get done and I can add the rest of my condiments. That means when the um, Megusi is getting well done, I can add the meat and the fish and the vegetable will come last all right we're getting ready to finish this it's gonna be delicious so an update I go see it's boiling you can see it I'm gonna open it now and stir it you see it's coming out nice it is I'm like, gonna let it simmer for about 10 more minutes. If I will taste it and see if we have enough seasoning in it. Um, or I can add the water from the goat meat to it to give it a, a very good taste. So let's see how it's doing. It really looks good. That's how I like.
like my goose to boil. So I'm gonna add. No, you just you can season it to taste and see if it's up to what you like. And I'm gonna add the fish and the chicken. And the goat meat will be last because I don't want it to be too soft, you know. So I decided not to use the stock fish. I'm only gonna use the the chicken and the oven roasted fish. I didn't pour it because I don't want it to splash. That's why I gradually put it in. I'm gonna stir it. You see, it's getting very thick. I'm, I'm not going to add any more water to it because of the vegetable. It's fresh veggie. And it's going to be um, a little bit watery. So, the taste for me, it's okay. You just you can taste it and see if it's up to what you like. I'll add the fish to it in two more minutes. I'm going to let the chicken soak in the sauce. Then I'll add the fish and the goat meat will be next. Goat meat was is just co being cooked now. Um, it's soft enough, but it has a tendency to be too soft. So I'm not gonna add it because I, I didn't roast it. In usually, I will have just put it in the oven to make it roasted. That way it won't be too soft. But today I decided to boil it, so I'm gonna add it to the to the soup, close to the end. But let the chicken soak in. So I'm going to go ahead and add the meat, the meat and I mean the goat meat. Never mind. I know my pot is full, but it's gonna I'm going to create a room for it. And if it's giving us a hard time, we'll switch the pot. I'm just going to let the goat meat in mind two seconds then i'll add the vegetables but before that once this is warm um once it simmers i'm gonna switch the pot so that we have enough room to stir it but you know you know the gist i'll show you the end product as soon as i'm done so i went ahead and switched um the pot we have pour it in a bigger um pot that way we have enough room for the vegetables it's a lot of vegetables but i love vegetables so it's your preference if you want more vegetable you can use frozen vegetables you can use fresh veggie i was i was just lucky enough to find this fresh spinach at the store today so i, I got a fresh one so i cover it up and let it simmer for another maybe three minutes because the veggie is going to get soft easily. I'll turn it and we'll be ready to eat our food. So, I'm stirring it now. The vegetables already simmered. And you can see it went down a whole lot. I'm going to cover it. Few more minutes and I'll make my in your final products. See that? Yummy. Enjoy. I hope my video is helpful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up. 
like share it and enjoy have a blessed